So hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth and welcome to my home. So I created a course on Udemai which is about youth advocacy and activism which is like four hour long and I did it, um, as I said, I did it totally, it was free course that I, that I in creating the, the video and this is actually what I'm going to talk about here. So ever since I finished school I've been involved in many advocacy work and I've been, um, I joined different organizations because I wanted to actually improve my communication skills, improve my self-confidence and my networking skills and that's why I joined various organizations and all that and where to the point where I started I started um, joining the leadership actually and leading um, different organizations and I'm actually leading about two organizations now where I am where um, I'm actually we are running projects on different uh, on climate change and projects on uh, on school education and all that and this is why I just feel like I should share my skills on people that are actually my skills and experience and people that want to do youth advocacy and activism and how they can actually go about the whole stuff so that is why I decided to um, create a whole online course on Udemy. So you might be wondering why I actually opted for a faceless um, course on Udemy. So I started, first when I started, I actually started recording the course on um, using like normally uh, recording myself and talking about the topics that I'm actually passionate about or in all that and all that. But then I decided that in the place where I am, there was actually a lot of noise and there was um, and it was a busy place so I couldn't like every day to just record and it was a whole four hour course. So I decided like I had to look for platforms or, or softwares that I can actually use, maybe to give a voice over or something and all that. So and this is why I opted for a faceless um a faceless uh faceless uh course on Udemy. So I actually just used three tools that in creating this um, this course which were which is the Canva. I used Canva and I use as well TeamChamp and I use Premiere Pro. So I use Canva Canva I use Canva just on for creating slides for the course. So I divided my course in different curriculums, not really curriculum but in different um in different modules and the modules are also break down I also broke down the modules into topics and that's why I created now the, the videos the different videos in different topics and all that and I had to make different slides according to every topic and all that and then um, so I used Canva in creating the slides for the just to make them engaging and very colorful and all that and Canva is actually the best tool when it comes to creating the slide and very easiest and because it has uh, templates various templates that you can actually choose from and then the, um, the second uh, the second tool that I use is actually um, ClimChamp. So ClimChamp is a video editing uh, software that you can edit videos from the scratch, or you they are also, they also provide um, templates and all that. And you can do a lot of things with the free um, with the free version of ClimChamp. So ClimChamp you can as well do uh, text to speech, which you can um, which is you can do unlimited text to speech as, uh, as much as you want. And that is the tool that I actually use to do my voiceovers. So you can do unlimited text to speech on uh, on ClimChamp, and there are so many and there are so many different voices that you can actually uh, choose from. They have different lang languages of text to speech, and you can as well use different English um, English people. You have people from South Africa, you will be given like people from South Africa, people from Kenya, people from America, um, people from the UK, like the different version, the different accents of English, and you can choose as many just as you want. So that's now the tool, the most important tool that actually helped me in this whole process. Because I had now to, because that's the tool that I use in creating my voiceovers. And it was so much very easy to understand and really, like it's not, ClimChip is not uh, complicated at all. Yeah, the third tool that I actually use in creating the course is Premiere Pro, and Premiere Pro is um, Premiere Pro. I use Premiere Pro just to 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 put my voiceovers together, to put the voiceovers together with the slides and all that. And that's now the tool that I use in video editing. And actually, you can use any video editing um, software that you actually use because, like uh, Premiere Pro, that was the one that was available to me and very flexible to use as well. Like very, um, yeah, it was the one that was. Available available for me and there are so many things that you can you can as well use Canva or in any other video editing software that you can actually use to just to put your slides together and the voiceovers and all that so it's not a must that you must actually use like Premiere Pro so yeah though that is all and so it was totally free it's very, it was totally very easy because I just had to 
put to write down my scripts for the different videos and as well just to put down my slides together and all that and just put everything together and then yeah so you can actually check out my course on the, the link is um, provided in the description uh, below you can as well check my intro video of the course of how it is the voice is very clear and then the slides as well so you can just check it out if you love it and if you are looking forward to maybe in creating a course on Udemy it's um then you can actually um, opt on the tools that I actually uh, spoke about here. So thank you so much for listening and I hope that you found this video very valuable. And if you found this video um, valuable, please don't give, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. You can as well leave your questions or any suggestions in the, the, uh, in the comments in the comment below. So thank you so much. Bye.